hi, I'm the English Scribe, trying to find and make some sense in this crazy world. Trending, topical, me too, remember that? Well, it still happens, and it's happening in live comedy. I'm not going to link to the newspaper article in question. Over the past few weeks, women have spoken up and spoken out about certain male comics who have done things that they really, really shouldn't have done. Also, the article in question says that it's rape jokes. It's a bit more than that. Um, and speaking as someone who does live comedy, or rather did before COVID, but is now doing digital comedy, um, I know for a fact it happens. Also, it really shouldn't be happening, not now, not ever, and certainly not in the 21st century. With Me Too, assault, inappropriate behaviour, it's not flirtation gone too far, it's not bants, it's not just misunderstanding, it's about a misuse and abuse of power, make no mistake about it. Um, and I really applaud all the women that are speaking up and speaking out about it because people will try and do dodgy things and try and keep getting away with doing dodgy things as long as people keep quiet about it. Um, to put it another way, I don't know what line of work you work in, but if your boss puts you in a situation that puts you at harm, they're going to keep doing it unless someone speaks up about it. And also Catherine Ryan in the past week has spoken up about why she quit Mock the Week. In case you missed it, it's because of pedestal feminism. It's like, no, but we're not sexist. Look, we've got this particular word. Look, she's a woman, she works for us. And, um, yeah. It has to be said, there are a lot of comics within live comedy who really make the point of having an even or equal lineup, which is as it should be. You know, there are a lot of women in comedy. We're not as rare as, you know, multicoloured unicorns trotting down the street dishing out jelly tots. Um, but yeah, it's been quite a, quite a one in live comedy. I'm not going to elaborate on certain other things. If you're a comic based in the UK, then you know what's been going on. Um, but yeah, me too. It's more than a moment, it's a movement. And Me Too is certainly no joke. So here's hoping for a brighter tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. I'll be right back.